Good evening, my good friends. Welcome to part number 15. Uh, why good evening? You might be watching this in the morning. Silly Volk. Hey guys, welcome. We are now really starting Alderaan because I still remember the disaster from two episodes ago, number 13. The quest we're doing is called Spiking the Punch. And uh, here is what Krista asked me to do. She's given me... Uh, Let's read the text because it's easier. Krista has given you your latest great hunt target, the latest. The Durasteel Duke. You have learned that House Girard, under the protection of House Tool, was the last known location of your target. The houses of Alderaan are warring with each other. They've always been, and they keep doing that from the Old Republic era or era all the way to the new generation of Jedi and Sith. Um, a situation that breeds opportunity for bounty hunters such as yourself to make money probably after speaking with baron zakar girard in his private chambers in house girard or girard whatever he has dispatched you to to visit uh, savorin malthus the seventh at his encampment i hate these complicated names shall we just go down and do stuff Hail oh the i'm still on the Importantly, hail to you, master. Uh, the droid is hailing me. That's uh, fine. Okay, I don't mind. Alderaan. Oops, uh, this one is Alderaan. It's gonna cost me 600 credits. And uh, if you remember the rewards from the first quests, including the first um, Great Hunt quests, uh, before the Great Hunt went actually on Hutter and then on Dromukas, they were rewarding me with uh, 50, 60, 100 uh, credits. Seriously? Come on, Bauer, up the price. We want to be rich from the very beginning. And bounty hunters and smugglers actually deserve to get better rewards because that, that's their story, that's their profession. Don't you think so? Okay, we're back with the calming music. A little bit more appropriate level, although still very, very low. As you can imagine, between the recording of 14 and 15, I haven't done I haven't done anything extra to up my level. My quest is 28, I'm still 25, nearly 26. That's still not too much of a difference, but I'm falling behind very seriously already, and uh, it's very likely that after Alderaan, I will go and do a few heroic runs. I still don't have the good heroics unlocked, but I hope that after Alderaan, for the next planet, the good ones will start appearing, and then, in the beginning of next video, or the one after next, depending, we will have that talk. For now, we focus on the Alderaan story. I have good gear, very decent gear. The companions don't uh, depend on gear anymore. The leveling is really, really easy, boringly, stupidly easy. So nothing to worry about. We're gonna travel quickly to that point. I could have actually mapped there because I have it unlocked from episode 13. <clears throat> Let's enjoy the view, why not? Alderaan is famous with this. Incredibly beautiful view and birds that disappear suddenly. That's one of the biggest issues I could never get used to. These flying things, they just spawn for, for a moment. You turn uh, your head to the side and when you go back to watch it, to see it again, it's gone. It's gone if you, even if you don't do that. Or at least if you turn to the side, you don't break the immersion of uh, watching it disappear right before your eyes. I passed through a speeder of some sort, in the mind. Great music. I really, really hope Sony is not going to block it. Specifically the one here on Old Rome. It's one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in the game. Uh, the one on Tatooine is also very epic, although this one is just more... I don't know how to describe it. My dictionary is probably just too poor. Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. It used to be five These paces. Guys with the stupid I suppose the there. war is making people jumpy. Wait, you? You are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. 
That's quite a mouth you've got there. Mom was a nerf herder, huh? <laughs> I will not trade barbs with a base-born wretch. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor, then I can speak to you. How about I deliver your teeth? Your artful diplomacy is a wonder to behold. Oh! Thank you, You struck me! How dare you! You... You... whatever you are, I'll see you slaughtered like an animal! What are you no, all waiting won't. for? Pound this cur to the ground! Smooth. Smooth. I keep saying that in uh, Fallen Empire as well. <laughs> really cool line. Finally, now will you give me what I can for? Then Zaka will hear of this offense. Enjoy explaining why my information will now go to someone else. I demand that you prostrate yourself and beg for mercy. Well, so help me, I'll have you brought before a tribunal for these grievous affronts. I'm done playing games with you. You wouldn't dare. You, wait, wait. I shall enter my half of the security key. You take this message to Baron Zakhar with my fond regards. I don't know what bruised more easily, his ego or his face. May we never meet again. That line felt like he means something. As in, as soon as I exit this area, everything is gonna gank and kill me. So we will never see each other again. Okay, this is the closest spawn point inside the cantina. How lovely. I might try ducking next time. Shh, be quiet, I'm not ducking. Your job is to heal me. I know that you're doing this for the very first time in your life since you were never a healer before. But hey, it's cool to learn new things. Have you ever tried counting these steps? Can you tell me how many steps are there here? I thought the Imperials were supposed to be keeping a tight leash on those sorts of things. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me. Did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? Past business dealings aren't my interest. Getting paid for this one is. I recall Vibu saying something similar before you killed him. It's never a bad idea to show interest in your competition. If you would please excuse yourself, Uncle. I have business with my advocate. I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocate. Ah. I just got a very impolite communication from Lord Malthus, saying that you assaulted him. Is that true? I may have negotiated with his face a little. <laughs> I've always thought that pompous nitwit could use a good straightening out. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. I was thinking my rap sheet's a little light on breaking and entering. This is not playtime. You're to identify the fraudulent relic and bring me the message. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. Priceless is something Alderanians only use to describe things they still own. Catch my drift. Yes, we caught your drift. That's yet another pistol they're giving me with uh, crap rewards, which I don't really need. Always, always take the crystals. I've been saying that since the very beginning. 
And look at this, a nice pile of 143. I'm gonna be very, very soon level 26, which means new upgrade, because these items are level 22. On to the task before me. Like a rancor in a pottery shop. Lovely name. What do we need to do? Basically go to the next area. To do that, I'm probably gonna use a speeder. Investigate the Outer Royal Museum. Why aren't you discovered? Very strange. Welcome. Please select an available travel route that for that should later. be the one. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Because if it's not, I'm gonna waste a few minutes flying around. Let's enjoy the scenery. If only that speeder were smaller. Hey, what's that there? And why is it flying? The beautiful fortress or castle? Which name I already forgot, damn it. Meh. You can remind me if you know or remember its name. Did you see me knocking my head? Yes! I really, really, really do that. Come on, zoom in a little bit more. <laughs> That's a lovely animation I've never seen before. You see my character? Juran Mountains, welcome to the next quest. Oh yes, this is the area. And this purple... Uh, oh, there we go, level up. This purple notification here is for the planetary quest line, which I'm not doing. Do you think that's another credit spammer? Yes, there is a credit spammer. But also... We've got a gift! Whoa! Uh... Okay... Oh, holy crap. I don't know that person, but I should probably say a huge, huge thank you for this thing. Unfortunately, that's level 56. Damn it, I was hoping it would be lower level requirement. Uh, Trimantium Asylum Body Armor. Awesome. Uh, we had a discussion in the comment section under one of the videos, I can't remember anymore which one. Whoever's character is called Rao Rizad, thank you very much. Please tell me your name in the comments down below the video. I'm not gonna open this here because I want to open it back in, uh, up in my stronghold and uh, keep it safe until I'm the proper level 56 to be able to wear this. It's gonna be only for outfit. Again, you saw that it's a blue armor, non-moddable. I don't want it for the armor pieces or for the stats, of course. It's just for the, for the appearance. So now I, have, uh, now I have a very strong reason to get as soon as possible to level 56. Which, I have to admit, wasn't really a part of my plan when I started playing this class. What a damn nice, lovely reward. Or a, not reward, I mean gift. It's not a reward. <laughs> Okay, we're going... Oh, elevator, we're going down to the second level of something. Okay. Do we have any more information to check when while we're, we're traveling? Duke Corwin is negotiating with House Organa by placing messages in phony relics within the House Alde Royal Museum. Baron Zakar Girard has asked Girard whatever has asked you to go to the museum and recover one of the hidden messages on the museum level. I do remember that quest vaguely, but at least I do. Hey, my steam ran out. Wow. Nice. And my XP boost. That's a shame. I shouldn't leave my XP boost to go to waste. There we go. You'll feel that later. The only downside, as you can already see by yourself, being low level is not that they can actually kill you or do anything serious to you, no. 
the only problem really is that taking, it's taking a lot longer to kill them. See, I'm, I'm constantly sitting inside the, the fire dot, the red circle, all that time, and I'm still taking little to no damage. If I want to speed things up, maybe it's not such a bad idea to check out if I can play with the two DPS uh, Royal Museum? characters. Hmm, that sounds promising. I love his Damn comments. Stuff. I've never played with Gout, which means I'm hearing his comments, especially the ones during conversations, for the first time in my life. That's really good. There is always something new to do with this game. Regardless of how much we, me included, complain about the lack of new content. That was stupid. I'm gonna hide. Well, that didn't help a lot, did it? I'm coming, I'm coming. Go, 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 go. Oh. Damn, that was too late. Usually if I was uh, the appropriate level, these guys would die from just one AoE. They will stop dying later on after level 35 or 40, noise? but for now Jackpot. they will still sp uh, they're still supposed to die. How good are you at shooting with your hands full? Oh, oh no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. Yes, it does. I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's the fake? You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. He you really must doesn't go know. before anything is damaged. I won't lay a finger on a thing if you help me find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a non- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Don't worry, they're not even gonna make it to the door. I can't believe this is happening. More trashy trash, that's fine. I really don't know what you expect to find, but... Look out! That's all clear. Or maybe not. Second wave? Come on. There we go. Oh, the other side this time. Only a few more to scan. Just another moment, please. Please don't kill me. Stop whining. I'm actually trying to save your life. Should we have third wave? No, he's ready. He's already sad. Look at him. Surprised as well. I, I, I found something. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? You work well under fire. Ever thought about bounty hunting? Don't be <laughs> preposterous. That's the wrong I line to say. more man. than my duty to protect these cherished treasures. You have what you want now. Please, leave. Please. I'm leaving. Return to the Baron. Uh, return to the Baron, which means go back to this place. Remember the one that didn't want to automatically open for me. I can't remember everything that's in here. Uh, oh, nothing. What? What are you bubbling about, dude? 
accept your hand, <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Look at his lips. Anything for a lady. D this must be some kind That's of mistake. That's not very in the style oh. of Brother Ducky. The nerve of Zakar and my father treating me like some insipid, simpering... Ugh. How many more of these absurd marriage proposals must I endure? Just one more. Do I get a kiss for all my hard work? Oh my, yes. Such abundance of masculinity Ooh. has me in palpations. Your feeble attempts to woo me are refreshingly bad. My thanks for a momentary chuckle. Wow. Turn down with such brutality. She'll pay. She'll come back asking for it. Your attack on House Alder certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. I ain't your pet. I don't need a treat for not going on the rug. I... I, I meant no offense. But keep it or not, your choice. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm. This is an Organa's house tongue. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses. Thul vassals. Ulgo vassals. House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thul. Does that thing say where the Duke is or not? It does. But that information is of no further use to us now. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Rist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Rists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. Does it look like I'm getting cold feet to you? It's your life, Hunter. I've apprised you of the risk. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Rist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death. But if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. I know the payment isn't going to be big. I also know that it's not going to cause my debt. Simply because that's kind of the similar pro promise every NPC does to me when they send me on the next quest since the very beginning. Remember that gunslinger who was supposed to be undebatable back on Hata? Okay, the Silver Tongues is going to be the quest for next episode. Thank you for staying together with me for number 15. I'll see you on the next one, probably on the next day, because I'm releasing new episode each day. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, click the like button and help me out. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Visit my website vogue.com for daily videos and news and stay in touch by following me on Facebook and Twitter. To help me improve and expand, consider becoming my patron with a small monthly pledge.